Hey guys, what's up? Quick video for you today. So today I'm out at a local park. I'm in Central Florida, uh, right outside of Tampa. And it's July, it's hot, it's our rainy season, and I am mushroom hunting. So this time of year, I would expect to find uh, things like chanterelles, and I was really hoping to find some chicken of the woods. So this particular forest is typical Florida. It's a mix of like oak, pine, and you know, various other species, but oak and pine are always going to be what we have primarily here. So I was hoping to find some like old dead oak trees or dying oak trees that might have chicken of the woods. And um, so far I've been unlucky. I've been hiking for an hour or two hours, something like that. Uh, but also, you know, you always look on the ground because bolets are very prolific here. And it's also a chanterelle season. Which brings me to my next point. After like an hour or two of hiking and looking around, I finally found some. Well, I found a chanterelle. At least I think it's a chanterelle. Uh, we can't be certain that it's not a jack-o'-lantern until I get into it and open it or flip it over and check out to see if it has gills or ridges. All right, so to get this mushroom out of the ground, I've heard and read uh, two different things. One, you always cut the stem so it can grow back. And then I've heard from other people that the top of the mushroom is, is like an extension of the actual plant or um, organism, what do you wanna call it, that's it's under the ground. So you can just pluck it. I don't know which is right. I am by far uh, not, I'm not any kind of like mushroom expert. I just, I know about that much. Just enough to come out and find a few that I'm comfortable IDing. So since I don't know the proper way, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the stem because I figured that's lesser two evils if one is correct and one is not. All right, success. So I am 99%, I'm 100% sure these are chanterelles actually. So you can tell if you look under the caps, just in case anybody's not familiar, uh, they have ridges. So these are kind of firm. They're not gills like you find on mushrooms, um, you know, that are soft, you know, and you can bend these. You see these, these stay in place. So it's got kind of like a white flesh and you can't really mistake the orangish yellow cap there. So these are actually in great condition. You know, sometimes you find them and they're too old or they're too young, but these are perfect. Um, this is a, this is a good find. Um, like I said, I was hoping to find a lot more today, but honestly, um, I'm happy with this just because I think it's kind of cool. So, and once again, I am by no means any type of mushroom expert. So if anybody watches this video and you are a mushroom expert and you want to throw me some tips, um, or if I'm wrong about something, you know, um, either way, leave a comment and let me know because I am all about learning. You will not hurt my feelings, I promise. So anyway, I'm going to keep these and uh, probably eat them tonight for dinner. Um, I'm having steak tonight, so these will go phenomenal with that. So, cool. Well guys, that's gonna do it for me today. I spent a couple hours hiking around and I only found that one little clumping of chanterelles. So normally when I found them anyway, and what I see online is when you find one, there's always like gonna be like a whole bunch around. And so I'm wondering if it's the first of many to pop up or the last and some other forager beat me to it. So I looked all over the place and didn't find any more. And like I said, once I find one, I expect to find like a whole bunch, but either way, still found, uh, technically there's, there's three in the little grouping, so I'm still calling it a success. And uh, yeah, I had fun, even though it's like super hot. Uh, the bugs surprisingly weren't bad, so that was a huge plus. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.